Hi, I'm Tim Akamoff. I am otherwise known as the Grizzly Growler. I do, uh, I write about beer. I talk about beer. And I just figured it was time to kind of get in your face a little bit. Uh, I do a lot of beer tours of breweries and stuff where you don't see me. And uh, <clears throat> I don't know. The, I, here's the thing. I've always felt beer was a conversation. It's a, it's a two-way conversation, you and me. And what I want to do is I'm going to put stuff on here, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you stuff that I'm drinking right now. I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to tell you what I think about it. And I want you to do the same thing. This is the challenge. I want to create a two-way conversation between you, the beer lovers of the world, and me, a beer lover of the world. And uh, we're going to talk about what we like, what we don't like, what we, you know, industry news, you know, how you feel about, I don't know, Boston Beer Company being the largest American-owned brewery. Whatever, Montana beer laws that are archaic, we'll figure it out as we go along. But the challenge is this. Get on your computer. It's got a little tiny camera right in the corner there. And record yourself. This is not awkward. I'm not nervous. That's not sweat. It's hot. Uh, but we'll, we'll just have a good time. We'll talk about beer together. So, yeah, get online and post a video up, post a video response. I want to see them. I want to hear what you say. Show me what you're drinking, man. I can't get that in front of the camera. Look at that lacing. Look at that lacing. Beautiful. Show me what you're drinking. I want to see it. And uh, what else? What else can I say? Th this is going to be fun. It's going to be great times. We're going to have, we're going to have beer conversation face to face as it should be. And maybe we'll do one of these live one time. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to introduce you to the first video blog, vlog, beer vlog, whatever you want to call it. This beer right here. This is an Imperial Pilsner, according to the brewers at Lane Creek. And uh, the thing I find fascinating about it, it's, it's not really a Pilsner. It's got an ale yeast, but uh, it's light. I mean, look at the color on that, you know, nice and light golden. Very nice. Very beautiful color. And uh, they're thinking about actually marketing this beyond uh, their tap room, which would be awesome for me. Um, picked up 22 ounce bottles at the brew tap room. Sorry, at the tap room. And um, this beer is uh, is a phenomenal example of, you know, I, I've seen a lot of imperial ales. I mean, even Rogue has an imperial pilsner. Uh, but this is this is this is an example of encouraging Montana beer ingenuity. Because it gives you something. This is not a main. It's not a staple beer, right? They're not producing this for the mass market, you know. Because you know you gotta stick to your your basics, your Mandarin Hefeweizen. But this beer is something that they're gonna put out on a. Uh, they're thinking about putting out on a regular basis. That would make me very happy. It's got body to it, uh, which is surprising for the color. I mean, that's it's it's got some. And you can see it. It's a little. It's a little more heavy gold than a light you know it's not quite the blonde that it looks like it is this blonde has dark roots but it's a zesty little beer i am loving it this, this is a conversation this is you and me talking together mano y mano you know what i mean all right that's about all i got to say tonight it's gonna be short and sweet uh come back soon and I will see you again on the flip side which could be tomorrow or maybe next week depending on how my uh, depending on if my wife lets me have the kitchen to use for my personal recording studio um, because a lot of times the kitchen's dirty and she doesn't want me to have the camera facing that way and uh, well as you can see that way's not very pretty so here we have it